So nutrigenomics is actually one of the fields um, as part of the uh, overarching field of nutritional genomics, which looks at how our diet influences how our genes are expressed or how our genes behave. So nutrigenomics specifically looks at the diet uh, and how that impacts on gene expression, whereas nutrigenetics looks at how our genetic variation in terms of our DNA influences how we may uh, differ in terms of how we utilize or metabolize nutrients or even our nutritional requirements. This field is so wide. I think for me, the, the important thing is if you have a particular interest, for example, whether it be obesity or diabetes or um, maternal health and, and fetal programming, you know, they're different uh, areas that you can look into and then take a deep dive into the literature and the research and, and find out exactly what kind of research um, is going on. Um, so in terms of uh, nutrition and, and health professionals, for example, maybe they'd want to know um, specifically what kind of dietary recommendations we can make, how that will impact on how our nutrition service can possibly change. People in with a sports interest, they might focus on that area. You know, it, it's so wide that to keep up with the whole field will be quite difficult. But if you have a specific interest, you know, pick that area and then dive deeper and find the literature and, and educate uh, yourself on that way. The webinar is really aimed for people who really know very little about the area or are interested in the area and like to understand how the field is evolving and how this may impact on their future you know, career, like profession, uh, if a nutrition student or um, uh, somebody looking into the food industry, for example. So really giving an overview from since the completion of the Human Genome Project, how the field is rapidly evolving and how the field of uh, kind of nutrition, digital health, uh, and food pharma are really merging into this new category altogether where people really take more of a preventative role rather than a therapeutic role. So it will give people an idea of the basics of genetics. Then it will go into some examples of where genetics plays a role in terms of um, susceptibility to chronic diseases and also where they can find out more about resources and projects that are going on and where they can learn more. So as I said before, the field is very wide, so it's really knowing where to find the information, how to understand and get to grips with the basics, um, and that's what they'll get in this webinar.